Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. And on today's episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. And we were getting a little bit of rain up here, but again, this is a desert world, so it usually does not last very long. So what we need to do is get uh, a whole lot more wood, because we have a lot of traps that we need to put back before the next wave gets here. And what I'm going to do is cast a few more trees. Let's see, where we do it over here. There we go. Just to uh, replenish some of the land in case a tornado comes by. We also need to pick up all of this wood that they've already chopped down. You can see there's a lot up here. We could try getting some of the water, but it does tend to evaporate or get absorbed by the ground fairly quickly on this level. So because my guys are already up here, they're actually able to put in these little cubes rather quickly. And once they're in the cubes, you don't have to worry about it evaporating. It could sit there for a very, very long time. In fact, I don't think it actually disappears after that, it, well, other than an item disappearing on its own. So that does happen, but again, it takes a very, very long time for that to go on. There is something I need to do over here. Let me see if I've opened up the portal yet. I don't think I did yet. It's still closed. I have a dwarf in here who died with really, really good armor, and... Uh, I didn't want to just leave it up there, so I need to build some ladders real quick. Let's do six. I don't think I need more than that. Where do I want to put these? Right here is good. And then I will build up. Because again, when you get close to this uh, pyramid, you cannot use your powers, which also means you can't put scaffolding down. So unless you have a ladder of some sort, uh, your dwarves have nothing to stand on to get up here. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to dig in. They're not too far away. It takes about six, seven minutes per block. So still another about 14 minutes away. We need to put more of these traps down because that's going to be a whole lot of people. And I don't know if this is going to be enough traps. I hope it will be. It looks like a lot of traps, but then again, looks can be very, very deceiving with that kind of mob because there's just n really no way to tell how many are in there. You can sit there and try to count them, and I did that last time, and I thought I did a pretty good job counting them. I thought it was going to be around 30 uh, or 35 mobs, and it ended up being like twice that amount, so every one of the mobs was literally standing on top of one another. I got all these guys down here, and I've heard a really good idea was just to blast the dirt and have them go down the lava because they're really not worth my, my dwarves' lives, uh, the experience-wise that I get from these guys is really not that great and I get far better experience from the waves that income over here on the top and they're better use of my time but I don't know I don't really like uh, cheating like that too much I mean yeah digging underneath the pyramid is kind of a cheat but then again that's not supposed to happen like the those are not supposed to be that many mobs in there so if the game hadn't you know freaked out on me in the first place I wouldn't be doing that I, I would go in there you know the way I was supposed to and and you know try to conquer it the best I could even if it you know ended up wiping the floor with me uh, I still try to play the game the way it was meant to be just to give myself that extra difficulty but you know there's some things that I just there's no way I could take that many creatures on going through the front door it would just be suicide every dwarf who who fell down there would have died instantly fighting a guardian and all those guys and most of those guys Oh, I won't say most of them. Half of them are the skeleton warrior with the big uh, mace. They do area effect damage, so when they swing their mace, they hit everything in their path, including, you know, 15 dwarves all stuck on top of each other. Every single one of those 15 will take, I think it's like a heart, one heart at my level with all the armor that I have on. They take about a heart of health every hit, and when you got 30 or more of those guys all swinging at the same time, one swing and you're, all your dwarves are dead. So, yeah, that's just one of those those things that it's just, it isn't, isn't possible. I, I don't, I don't know how many times you'd have to send your dwarves down there to die before you even got close, even got close to being able to, uh, to kill any of them, let alone uh, dwindle the numbers down to a level that uh, would be, because they, they keep spawning, is the thing. So even, uh, even if you're wiping one out every, you know, five or six minutes, it doesn't matter because they spawn faster than that. And I don't think you would ever really, you know, get a handle on that situation at that speed. It would just, you would be pulling your hair out and it's just a nightmare. I, I yeah, <laughs> I can't even imagine doing that. It'd be crazy. Let's do this. And I've tried to imagine it. Like I've sat there 
and try to think of ways of how should I tackle that. And this is pretty much the only method that doesn't leave me just shaking my head and just disbelief of oh we need to we need to pick up these books over here. Let's see, we're gonna put some minions down. In fact I think the minions are running over here. Yep, okay. I don't need to do that then. We'll put down more of these things. We've got a few more mummies over here. Those guys spawn so quickly. But again, if you keep uh, little ledges like this, you know, two or even three high, that seems to block these guys from coming over on your base. If everything's completely flat, it's very, very easy for these guys to get around and very easy for them to uh, kind of uh, maneuver and get closer and closer to your base. So if you're having trouble or you're just getting tired of these guys constantly attacking, because at some point in the game, you don't really need the experience anymore. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with the experience level that I have at the moment. I don't really want 13 dwarves. It would be nice, obviously, if you have more, but the more dwarves you have, the, the bigger the waves get. And on 13, the waves are huge. And oh, this guy's just killing all my traps. Yeah, the waves are huge and just not something I really want to mess around with at the moment. I would have to build a couple more uh, Tesla Towers and I would have to actually seal this off over here rather than just leaving it open. And so, yeah, it just it creates a little bit more havoc than what I'm really looking forward to at the moment. I do need to put more traps over here. I almost forgot about that. So let's do two right there. We'll go ahead and get rid of that cactus. We'll put a couple over here. In fact, I don't really need to get rid of the cactus. I can leave it there and still put the traps. Now, you see I have a couple of traps still over here on the right that they didn't get destroyed. And that's because the portal, I believe, spawned right here. And so these traps got used, but the other ones did not. I guess I'll put these here as well. I think I only have two scuba helmets, so they'll only be able to do two of those at a time. So I may have to go back in there and reselect them uh, because I think it will, they'll turn red and I won't get anything out of that. And let's see how close this guy is. He should be pretty close. Portal's about to disappear. Uh, you know what? I'll let the portal disappear for the moment. Nope. Come on, guy. There we go. The pyramid is blocking the energy. There we go. Let me go ahead and take control over this guy. Bring him back. Otherwise, he would not go through the portal. He ended up walking all the way down to the other end. And that's just a little ridiculous. Okay, so he's going to go right back. He likes that area for some reason. The other dwarves are really not all that busy. In fact, I'm, am I running out of food? I am running low on food. Maybe not out of food, but I'm running low on it. So let's look. I got a little bit of fish. I can make some fish stew. Yeah, I can make 30 of these. So let's go ahead and drag the little bar down, and we'll make 30. There we go. And let's see. I'll put that down here somewhere. Uh, we'll put it right there. Now, I haven't forgotten about finishing the decorating. I do want to come over here and finish this fairly soon as well. I love the way the pictures can actually change. These are all the exact same picture as far as the item goes. But when you click on it, in fact, let me do that real quick. If I, I think it's this one, right? Yeah, there we go. So if you click on it, you'll see it rotate through all the different types of pictures that they have in that set. That's an amazing little thing. I like that so much. Instead of having just uh, you know 15 or 20 of these wall tapestries all over the place and making your your house kind of look room to room the exact same as every other room uh, with like windows and stuff like that you can really kind of break it up and create this nice little atmosphere with the same item and that allows the programmer to do a little bit less work on their part because they don't have to design multiple items or you know 10 or 15 items uh, that have different stats and they, they take different resources they can just design one item it has all the resources that, that they've already programmed into it and you just get to sit there and change the look of it and really that's all you kinda really want in this game at a certain point there's there's so many items already in fact if I go through the tech tree uh, you can see that there's just tons and tons and tons of items and if you look at it only five items can actually fit on any one of these little squares but you may get more than that per level. So these are just some of the items that you're actually able to make in this game. And so you don't really need more than that. I think there's plenty of items to go around. I've never gotten to the point where I'm like, oh, I wish they would add, uh, you know, a whole bunch more stuff. Occasionally I'll find something that I think would be a cool idea, like uh, that fish tank idea that I thought of, that uh, I thought it would be cool if you could have maybe uh, like glass walls or something in the background and then have 
the water filled up back there and maybe the the bigger the fish tank the bigger the fish would get and you'd be able to walk past that like right now you can't do that you can't walk past this water you either have to swim through it or you have to put a bridge and walk over it but it's not in the it's not in the background it's it's in the foreground so i think it would be cool to put it in the background as uh, like uh, a living fish tank in your house or something like that you know for any of any of you who've ever maybe watched the the TV show, of, uh, what I think it's called, Fish Kings or Fish Tank Kings or Tank Kings. I don't remember what the name of it is called, but they create fish tanks for a living. And some of the, the fish tanks they create are just amazingly beautiful, but they're in the walls at like office buildings and things of that sort. And you just get the beautiful look of it without it actually kind of being in the way. Like at a, at a house, you have the tank, but it's you have to walk around it and you get to sit there and look at it. But when it's in the wall itself, it really just blends you know, seamlessly into your house or the office building and you just get the beauty of it which I think is why some people like to have like a uh, not like a fake fish tank but on your screen <laughs> like your TV or computer screen leave that up and just have a recorded area or maybe a, uh, a CGI fish tank uh, on the screen so people can look at that because it doesn't take up a lot of space and of course you know the the upkeep is very minimal uh, on something like that because you don't have to at the feed your TV anything other than power. This is gonna be nasty for this guy. I hope he can get away in time. And I'm watching because I know he's not gonna leave as soon as he busts that open. He's gonna sit there and try to fight it. And oh man, it doesn't even look like he's cracking it really. He he has a little bit more time to go. So let's leave that guy there, man. I'm gonna have to put another portal down too. Maybe without that portal being there he'll run and the guys will follow. I'm hoping that's the case. We'll find out. He may die. Probably will. Probably will die, unfortunately. And we did get our wheat done, so we could we could harvest a little bit more of that. I think we have enough beer for now, though. I say that. Why my my uh, supplies are dwindling? I guess we'll go ahead and get that wheat. Let's grab this. Now I don't know why, but if you have like a wall behind it rather than dirt, when you left click on it, it brings up this little menu. You can remove the stone wall, or you can dig. Dig is the, the choice you want, or you could just use the second mouse button, and that goes ahead and, and harvests what's in the, uh, the usually what's in the background, not the foreground, but in this situation, it actually just harvests the wheat for you, so we'll do that. We don't have too much power. We need to save what little power we have for uh, the portal when that dwarf breaks through. Let's see, can we make anything while that guy's doing that? We need to make some, some beer here in a minute, but want to see what can we make to actually level up a little bit more well we need some uh, some decorating so we've already done the aquarium a couple times uh, we could do that let's see what is the picture stained glass let's do this uh, we're gonna need to make some more glass here in a second what about dyes uh, we'll need to make some more dyes and clay we will need to make some more clay wow we have very very little of those resources so let's do some clay, 118. Nah, we don't really need that many. We'll do 30. Let's do some glass. We can make 76, but we don't really need that many either. Let's do 52 and dyes. 16, not bad. And that's because I've been constantly collecting the rainwater as I see it. And that's why I have so much water to spare right now. But if you're not doing that, you'd very, very easily on this level to get uh, behind on your water and literally have to go off and drain a pool really quickly in order to get that and I kind of hate doing that because when you do drain a pool it causes you not to be able to fish there anymore and fish is one of my my staple resources It's one of the few resources that I have to continue to give my guys food other than the the nasty uh, where are they the pine cones or whatever they are there I, I promised my guys I would never give them uh, any more of the pine cones on the last level and this level has been coconuts you know, I got almost 700 coconuts, and I told them after the first, I think it was like six or seven hours, all they ever ate were coconuts. I'm like, okay, guys, you're never going to get a coconut again. And I think six or seven hours of coconut, or not six or seven hours, but like the three months in game that they ate coconuts, basically the six or seven hours that I played for, would probably have killed them. Because I know coconuts are a laxative, and eating coconuts for that much time and only coconuts, yeah, maybe may not be very healthy for oh there we go there we go he broke through no 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 no. you getting out of there punk get out of there put a portal go through it and stay there no come on i put the portal there 
You will. I'm gonna take you over if you're gonna be that stupid. Uh, come on. You you want to come down here, don't you? Wow, they are not coming down. Well, let me take you through, and then I will release you. You guys can stay over here for a few minutes. I have them on lockdown, so I don't really have to worry about them leaving, going through this portal. Let's see, can I get them to come down? Sometimes when you just look at the screen, it causes them to fall down. Anything? No, nothing. Hmm. That is going to be a problem. It's like they want to come through this area over here. I don't like that. There's, there's not a whole lot I can do here. I do have the exploding spell. Let me, let me see if I can use that. It's not going to get too close because again, it blocks my power, and it uses quite a bit of power. I think it's like ten. Yeah, it's crazy on the power. Let's. We're gonna have to use some potions. I think you can go in here and use the the mana potions. How do you use those? Maybe it's in here. Yeah, there we go. Just use them like that. It's gonna be all my potions. It's so heartbreaking. Okay, how close can we put this? Nope. Oh, I can't do it anywhere over here? How about over here? Oh, it's too close. I'm gonna have to send my guys over here, aren't I? And they're gonna have to remove the ladder. Here, come on guys, remove the ladder. Here they come. Oh no. Get out of there, get out of there. Go, 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 run, 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 run. No, don't stand there, run! Oh, you guys! What is wrong with you? Oh, have they learned? Are they getting smarter? What in the world? Why are they not coming down? This is not going anywhere near as well as I thought it was going to go. This is horrible. What am I doing wrong? Why are these guys so glitched? Ah, oh, this sucks. Get out of there, guys. Run. Run. Run, 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 run. I'm going to lose two more guys. Jeez, man. Oh, you guys. I'm sorry, guys. I have no idea what's wrong here. Maybe now you come down and stay down? I don't know, because you're not going to be able to climb back up if you come down. Let's put a portal here. I will risk a few more of my dwarves' lives. Unfortunately, that's just the way it's going to have to go. It's Climber's Book. Jeez, man, I can't believe they... What is what is the problem here? Why won't they come down? They were walking over this little area plenty of times before, and now they're just like, no, we're smarter than that. And none of my guys want to come down here and pick... Oh, they're locked, that's right. Unlock that. Come down here and pick some resources up. And it just goes to show you how tough these skeleton warrior dudes are, that they can just... Couple hits... And your guys are dead. Full life, and they're dead. It just... It, uh, it breaks my heart to see them die. And they weren't even being stupid. I mean, I've, I've seen them be stupid a whole lot in the past, and I wanted to turn them to goo, but... <laughs> when it actually happens, you don't want it anymore. Like, you want them to survive as much as possible. Okay, guys. I put those traps there, so you will have to go down a little bit. And you'll pick up the resources, but it doesn't seem like you guys really want to pick those resources up. It's dangerous down here. What if I put scaffolding? As far as the scaffolding goes, okay. What if I try to put another ladder? That means you want to climb up, maybe get the attention of these guys, and once they come down, they aren't going back up. Let's do that. We need to put another portal. There we go. Get out of there. Get out of there. I'm not going to tell you to go home. Because anytime I've ever done that, you just freak out. I hope you figure it out on your own. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, stupid. Stupid little dwarf. Okay, you can stay up there. Select this guy. Go rest. And what? They won't climb now? Are you kidding me? They're not going to climb. 
Well, as long as you stay up there and don't come down, I'm perfectly fine with you sitting there working on your skill. In fact, let me check to make sure he, uh, he has the right skill. Yeah, he's an archer. He has all the good stuff. Why do you have a bag of elixirs? That's not right. There you go. Take that. Oh, man, I can't believe I lost so many people. It's so heartbreaking. And these other guys, they still won't come down. I don't know what to do here, guys. I don't know why they're not cooperating. The only thing I could think of is to dig up again, but this time to dig up from right here where they all seem to... Or actually dig right here. Now, because if I dig right here, the moment I even get close... Why are you down here? That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. It's better than nothing, I guess. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. Yeah, if I dig up from here, these guys will see me, and they will jump down here and start beating on me. Uh, that's not going to work. It's going to have to be this one right here, and I'll have to do the whole thing all over again, so let's do that. Hopefully this works, because I don't know what else to do if that doesn't work. That there, so let's put some ladders down. I'll have to create a few more ladders. Let's go into craft. How much wood do I have? Do I have enough for that? Let's put a few ladders here, and we need to put some more traps down, so let's make a few more traps while we're at it. Uh, we'll do that many. And uh, you know what? I will repair this dirt as well. I need to put another portal. There you guys go. Uh, another ladder. Why wow, you guys are going through that pretty quickly. At least the guys who are still left alive. can't believe we lost. I thought that was going to go so well like last time. It was going to be such a nice little uh, boost of uh, experience and we're going to get rid of those guys, come in here and just take the guardians on. It doesn't seem like anything in this level is going as, as easy or as efficiently as I was hoping it would. And we got a few more guys back, so let's let's give you guys something to use. Uh, your carpenter. I guess we're going to give you a mithril hammer. We'll give you a steel axe. And where's your pickaxes? Um, did I lose my pickaxes? I have no pickaxes. How's that possible? Maybe they just haven't returned them yet. I guess we'll have to wait on that. We'll give you some gold armor. We'll give you a steel helmet and some iron boots. Should be good. Now let's see, what can I make you? I can make you a warrior. And we got the mining skill. We'll go ahead and do that. Let's see, anybody else come back yet? Nope. Everybody's good. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it off there. In fact, we'll take this down for the moment. And we'll put dirt here. Hopefully they don't trap themselves down here or block. I guess it doesn't really matter if they block this off. It's not really that important to have it there. And this guy is actually able to climb up. I wonder how he did that. Oh, no, that's right. They can climb on the back wall. It's only on the surface that they're not able to climb, so we'll do that. Oh, man, this is... This is not going the way I wanted it to. And I got another wave income. Oh, of course he's trapped down. Why wouldn't he be trapped down there? That... That's just classic dwarf right there. I need a suitable tool. He doesn't even have a tool to cut himself out. There you go. Your little friend's gonna get you. Let's see, do I have my pickaxes yet? There they are, finally. Okay. Give you a pickaxe. And we need to give you a weapon tool thingy. Did you get a grinding tool? There we go, grinding stone. I <sighs> still... Still regretting doing that. That was harsh. Very, very harsh. Let's finish up down here so I can put some traps down. There we go. There we go. Put that there. A couple more traps here. Sorry, guys. It's like my mind is still playing back that situation, thinking, like, what could I have done better? And it doesn't seem like... There was really anything that I could have done because they're they're so buggy now, and I, it's the last patch that did it. They weren't this buggy 
one patch ago. I, I didn't see any issues. They added a whole lot of cool things to the game, which is why I'm not too upset about it. And that, I, like, if, if they hadn't added a whole bunch of levels and new items, I probably would have just rolled back and gone to a previous patch and just played that again uh, until they fix these issues. But because they added so much, I don't really have that choice because I can't play the fourth level unless you're on the most recent recent patch. No. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you an idiot? Yes, I already know the answer to that. Oh my god, guys. Seriously? Actually, no. We're, we're not going to do that. We're going to chop these ladders down because without the ladders... No, you can still climb. That's right. Do I have any beware signs? I kind of don't want to put one down because it might be too close to where he is where he is digging. Let me put that down, actually. Oh, it's already there on the bottom. Um, what are you? You are still a guy. Now you're going home. Jeez, guys, you're driving me nuts here. Yeah, they're they're buggy. I mean, it, it's I'm gonna lose like three more guys here because they they won't go back home and go where I tell them to go. Go home, go home now. Do it before I slap you in the face. You got oh man, stop doing this. Just just do what I tell you to do, man. I'm supposed to be your leader, aren't I? Supposed to be your supreme commander telling you to go home and go to sleep and stop being an idiot and go to school. This is why you stay in school, guys. Don't be a dwarf. Definitely don't be a dwarf. And what is wrong? Now they're just sitting there? They they don't have a problem jumping, you know, all over the place up here, but the moment they come down here, nah, we don't really feel like moving anymore. We're tired. Okay, I'm done with that area. I'm, I'm, I'm done over there. We'll come back to that another time. I've lost too many guys to this area. And uh, we have a wave in coming here in about seven minutes. I need to get prepared for that. I need to make sure my guys have the right skills and the right buffs and uh, or the right uh, armor. And, and yeah, I'm just I'm finished with that. That sucks so bad. We'll come back to it eventually because we need the, the portal piece, obviously. But... It even makes it worse knowing that I have to come back to it because now if I give my dwarves anything great uh, and uh, we go back to it, there's a chance they're going to lose all of that work on the skill-wise anyway, so I don't, I don't know what to do. If you guys have any, uh, any ideas, definitely leave that down below and I'll give it a try. I mean, it's, it's worth a shot. I don't think anything's really going to work down there. I think it's just so bugged that at this moment... There's really not a whole lot of options. It's just gonna be uh it's gonna be a horrible time all around to go down there. So let's let's make let's see, what do we wanna make? We wanna make a few more small chandeliers, maybe, yeah. If we have enough I don't know if we have enough oil, but we'll try it. We can make twenty. There we go. And that's gonna level us up. And when that level us levels us up, we can do Actually, we can't do anything from there. What we needed to do is this stuff over here. Stockpile, don't really need it. Test the tower, could use a few more, but it's expensive. Steel door, don't have enough iron. Elevator, eh, at this point in the game, really don't need it. I wish they would have given the, those to you about halfway through the tech tree rather than at the very, very end of the tech tree. Because at this point, I'm okay with the ladders. The ladders are pretty quick, and I don't really need the elevators too much. I may build one just to just to build it. I don't have the stuff for that, so we're not going to build that. We will build maybe a Tesla Tower, mm, silver and gold. Yeah, we'll go ahead and build a few more of these. Three more. Okay, that should be good. What else can we do? I guess we can try the elevator. I don't really want to. We're out of oil. Okay, what do I need for oil? I can do a few of these, and then we'll build the elevator when those are... Actually, that's done already. Those are instant. Yeah, those are instant. So now we can do this. Okay, so... We need planks, which we have a decent amount of. There's something in there we don't have a lot of. Probably the gold. Yeah, we only have two gold. 
Okay, we still got one more plank to put down. We also have some oil. Let's put that there. We also have some wheels. We have plenty of those. And what about rope? Uh, not a whole lot of rope, but more than enough to build a few of these. So let's do let's do two of them. That's gonna level us up right there. Nice. Okay, guys. Well, I think why that is uh, getting done, I am gonna go ahead and end the episode here. I will uh, start it up here in a few minutes because we do have a uh, a wave incoming. Also, I want to apologize if this episode doesn't get out in time. Uh, my brother and his family are coming down for uh, I think it's like 12 days. To uh, I don't I don't get to see him that often because he's a he's a marine and he lives over in California. So when they come down to visit, I try to make as much time as possible to uh, to spend with him. And uh, yeah, so I may not have all my episodes up exactly right on schedule. I, I'm not gonna you know lax on it. I will get all the episodes done. But if I miss one here and there, I do apologize for it for the next you know 10 or 12 days. Uh, and then after that, I am going to be stepping it up and I'll be doing. Uh, you know, again, the, the daily episodes for sure, but I'll also be adding to my daily episodes uh, Terra Tech, uh, because right now I've been doing about three a week for that, and I'm going to step it up and do daily episodes on that as well. So, again, if you like those videos, uh, you can kind of look forward to that. I do apologize that you have to wait that long to be able to see those anyways, but uh, hopefully uh, you guys don't mind too much and understand that uh, when family comes to town, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things. And I've been working double shifts this week to get enough time off for the time that they are here because again it's not, they don't really have a lot of notice most of the time when they come down it's uh, you know it's Marine Corps when uh, when they want you to work that's it you know when they when they give you time off it's kind of like hey uh, tomorrow you got two weeks off go do what you want to do yeah well thanks for the heads up guys but you know, it's the way it works and uh, you kind of have to deal with that but again guys uh, thanks for watching if you like these episodes please hit that like button subscribe definitely helps grow my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave those comments down below. If you have a really good idea on how to take those those areas on, I'm going to leave that thing alone for a long, long time, I think, and not worry about it too much for, for some time. So if you do want to, uh, you know, leave a tip, I'll, I'll greatly, uh, you know, in fact, I may just put like a Tesla tower down there. If they're going to sit there and do nothing, uh, I may just build one myself down there and see if maybe that could kill him. I don't know. It might be a cool idea. But again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.